Employee Participation and Hazard Identification Developed for OSHA Safe and Sound Week Are you ready to move safety and health in your workplace forward? Small steps can lead to big changes. Effective safety and health programs tap into workers' collective experience, knowledge, and insight in order to find solutions to workplace safety and health challenges. Worker participation is key for hazard detection activities, as workers are best positioned to identify safety and health concerns and program shortcomings. Management should create a positive environment that encourages all workers to participate in hazard identification activities. For instance, management should empower workers to initiate or request a temporary shutdown of any work activity or operation they believe to be unsafe. Encouraging participation will also raise worker awareness of potential hazards in the workplace and demonstrate management's commitment to safety. A good way to involve your workers is to establish a safety committee that is made up of individuals who perform different work tasks as they understand different parts of the operation and can conduct inspections based on their knowledge and experience. You could also collaboratively develop daily or weekly checklists for things common in their work area, like hand tools, housekeeping, workstation maintenance, and proper labeling. Consider using a suggestion box for the submission of anonymous tips. In order to show progress, management should promptly acknowledge receipt of workers' input and provide feedback on how and when a hazard will be corrected. Over time, this will build trust with your employees and lead to them feeling more comfortable reporting hazards. Workers should feel comfortable communicating hazards in the workplace. Management should emphasize that workers' input would only be used to improve workplace safety and health and that no one will be punished for raising safety concerns. Any potential barriers or obstacles to participation in the program, such as fear of retaliation, skill level, education, language, or lack of information should be removed. Organizational policies and practices that include negative consequences to workers for their involvement in the program can discourage participation and should not exist. For instance, if a worker stops work activity because of a loose machine guard, supervisors should not take away a performance bonus based on this lost productivity. In addition, to encourage participation, workers should be rewarded for working safely. Now, let's walk through an example. A worker is conducting a daily inspection of their work area and notices a section of flooring is damaged due to a dropped object. They log the hazard in the tracking system and responsibility is assigned to maintenance, who deploy temporary barriers to prevent someone from tripping, repairs the flooring, documents the actions, and closes the hazards as corrected with a completed date in the workplace tracking system. The safety committee then talks with workers in the area to find out how to improve work processes and controls to prevent dropped objects in the future. In addition, at the monthly safety meeting, the employee who notified the employer of the problem was given a Safe Employee of the Month award, which is given monthly as an incentive to have employees report hazards. This example illustrates an effective use of worker participation, a hazard correction tracking procedure, and hazard control surveillance. Workers' participation in hazard identification activities will promote the proactive recognition of hazards before they result in an injury or illness. Check to see if workers are actively participating in hazard detection activities in your workplace by asking managers, supervisors, or workers to identify who conducts inspections. Or, you can ask workers to share how they have participated in hazard identification activities, such as reporting a hazard in the last year. Give it a try at your workplace and improve your safety and health program today.